Hi, welcome. We are making the video what changed from November to December. So we start to install this November uh, release 18.11 and then we'll update everything and go over all the changes. And uh, why not include also how to install Arch Linux again and talk about the websites maybe as well. So people know where all the information is and invite you to Discord. So Discord is an application and you can chat there and ask away. Um, okay, so this is the Arch Linux installer. We have uh, an operating system that's based on Arch Linux. We provide you with a graphical installer, not a uh, black screen. I believe I still have it open here. So this is phase five, which is quite interesting. It's an installation of Arch Linux, the Arch way. But it means that you get this pop up, which is nice. But then you get this thing and then you have to figure out what to do next. So a lot of things you have to know and to follow. All the tutorials are there if you want to move to phase five. So here we have this graphical installer and you say, OK, American English is fine. There could be other choices if you want to. Just remember, um, these translations will either work or not work. And it does not depend on Arco Linux. It does not depend on Arch Linux. It depends on the desktop developers. So XFCE, Cinnamon, Plasma, most of them will have it, but BSP, WM, uh, awesome and, and others will not have them. It just depends on the desktop you're installing. So next, this uh, GEO IP works again, but uh, if it does not work in the future, well, just uh, put your button in here. Free service never tends to stay free forever. So fine, it works now. The system language will be set to English, United States. Okay, fine. Or you just say, no, 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 i rather have another uh, choice and this is actually um, already a little bit arch way uh, installation since you need to know this um, setting this system local setting which you can look up on the arch wiki this is our belgium one this is the netherlands one and the same applies here again for the numbers and locale so if you want to have it in, in german or anything you have to move up to german uh, elements here okay so I leave everything as is, and then I say the keyword. No QWERTY for me. I can't type on a QWERTY because I have an Azerty key, and it's not for the letters, but all the special kind of characters are, are hidden away then. So that's that's the, yeah, the problem. Then the next, we have to either decide to replace a partition with our clinics. So okay, this partition, I replaced with it or not. Um, when will you use this? I use this on my SSDs. When I install an Arch Linux B, Plasma for instance, I let it install completely. Then again on the same SSD, I put in a USB of Arch Linux B Plasma minimal. And then I'll say, okay, put uh, each one of them next to each other. And then you can replace a partition and split it in two. One is Plasma and the other is Plasma minimal. That's one thing I do to spare me some SSD. So I have two operating systems on one SSD. But mainly and most 100% uh, of the, well, many of the times I just say erase disk. This will delete all data currently present on the selected store. So the complete SSD is yours. Do your thing with it. That's the most easy option there is. And the other one is a manual partition, which is then more difficult and is more like phase five, knowing what you do. Okay, erase is erase. What's your name? And what's the name of the system? You can give it any name. I just renamed it Arch Linux. This is the password for the user. And you can log in automatically without asking for the password. It will only work for XFCE. It's a um, file in etc light dm lightdm.conf and it says xfce so if you are on one of the other 10 desktops plasma cinnamon etc etc you need to edit this file it's all explained in tutorials this is the root password so administrator account uh, root if you want to have the same password as as that one say so, okay use the same password and if you 
want a different one, you can change it here. You can uh, type it in and then you have a different one. It's a choice. Next and next. While he's doing that, let's go over some of um, the information provided on different sites. Let's start with Article Linux Info. So this video is going to be about the release, right? 18.12 is going to be released pretty soon. We have a nice image here, which also uh, shows you a new conky, which is Lazuli. We'll talk about it later and we'll go inside this um, release article and show you the important stuff. The thing is, if you're new to Arch Linux, you should know several things. And let's go to this page, Arch Linux Editions. It gives you a summarization of a summary of um, the different projects we have. We have we are talking about Arch Linux ISO, which is the left here, but there is also a minimal one, okay, Arch Linux D, which is more a um, distro to learn because you do end up in a black screen at the end of the graphical installation. It still stays the same thing as we're looking at here, just a little bit less in the sense of no plank and all these things, but it's graphical, it stays the Calamares installer, and it's, it's called by the way. And um, well, yeah, then it's up to you to run some scripts and, and add scripts and, and delete elements, etc. So learn scripting maybe, learn typing actually, scripting is not difficult, it's just as text in a file that you run. That's it. And that Linux B is building an ISO. So that's um, the end result is an .iso file that you burn on USB and you boot from it. And you put, you decide what you put on it. Everything. And then you build it. And um, one of the things people also ask is, Eric, where is your Discord um, link to join you? It's here. It's, it's, it's here, right? So you install Discord, sudo pacman minus s Discord, done. Make an account and then join us on Discord, job GG, etc. This link here, that's where you need to be. What is Discord? Discord is a way to discuss things with each other, to give suggestions. I believe we have two or three suggestions included in this uh, December release, all coming from you guys, right? So if you have the knowledge, help other, each other out, uh, share some dot files, some configs, some aliases, and so on. It's here, we're there, we're online. Get in touch. So that's that. What else? We have this um, information website, which is just what it says. It gives you information about who is Arco Linux. You see the, the, the topics here and um, a blog about the releases, a gallery. If you're the first time looking at this thing, it's pretty interesting to see, okay, how will it look like? Uh, what, what possibilities do I have? And lots of images, lots of um, um, desktops as well. Still have a lot to develop, but there are already, already a few pictures there like Qtile, etc. So we'll make more, 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 more desktops and more tutorials because that's one of the main advantages or, or selling points that we have lots of articles and videos to explain you everything. We want you to become masters in Linux. We want you to be uh, in control of your system, empower you. That's one of our goals. So Article Linux information, general information, fine. ArticleLinux.com is going to be an, um, a website where the, it's written actually for Arch Linux ISO. So XFCE, Openbox i3 stuff are in here, but it's 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 more general than that. If there are articles um, I'm on BSPWM or on Plasma, but it concerns all Arch Linux, all Arch Linux, all Linux things, it's going to be here. So this is probably going to be, become the biggest site because of the fact that an alias, for instance, will work on any Arch Linux. Doesn't matter if it's Arch Linux um, number 20 or number one, it's going to work because it's Arch Linux, right? It's Linux, basically. So this contains the most information and we try to divide it. It's, um, of course, not easy to divide elements, but you go over all the categories we've made 
and one of the categories new ones is samba for instance since we got this um, uh, update and we had to fix it because there was an, a problem with samba suddenly we, after this update so we figured it out and i'll explain it to you always interesting to see some of the fixes if you say hey there's a problem let's see if eric has written a fix and then you see here what fixes we've written recently and all these fixes contains knowledge and it doesn't mean that you can't apply the same rule or the same solution for another file you sure you can so the same kind of problem will result in you you using the same kind of solution right so that's um interesting to well if you want to empower yourself this is probably the most interesting uh, category ever all right the fixes so articlexd.com then the d is the the base one remember the, the the black one where you end up it's graphical installation always is but then you end up in a black screen and you run your scripts so here we are actually going to phase two deciding no i don't want xfce openbox ni3 i just want xfce i just want openbox i just want i3 and in phase three you leave the three uh, desktops here behind and i say i'm ready for something new awesome psp etc so we have 11 desktops for you to try out and to learn and all the tutorials are here just start reading right? listening videos etc phase four has been moved phase four is article links b if you click on it you are on article links b.com so if you don't want to start with article links d and in a black screen maybe you're more interested in building your own iso so we give you the power to build any of the isos you can build the iso we're working on now we can build or you can build the iso d so the minimal one the big ones the b 11 of them or a minimal one in this case seven of them still four to go we'll talk about that later so there's that's then uh article b that's phase four and phase five is you want to go to arch linux so if you say okay i'm ready to move and to to certain to um the knowledge that i've learned on article linux can be applied on arch linux the thing is you need to go through a black screen this is great but then you get this prompt and you need to type your commands and figuring that out is difficult it's difficult so after some time and after following a few tutorials you'll figure out oh yeah that's the procedure to install arch linux on my machine not on your brother's machine or on your father's machine but it's it really depends on the hardware you're on to figure out hey what how does it work what's my installation procedure so that's five, phase five and then we do have a phase six and we start have started with the website and we are filling it with posts as you can see and that's when you want to make an arch linux based iso if you want to launch your own distro or if you just want to launch your own distro for your family or for a school or a government institution or anything like that uh, so your own arch linux based iso but we'll do that later but sometimes there are things knowledges things i like this project is new um, this was the opportunity to make a, an, a tutorial about managing files via packages rather than putting them on the arch iso it's all technical uh, maybe not for you but it was the right mo moment in time to make a video about that and include it here so we'll have it later so let's see okay that's done i believe um i told everything about the websites and there's one thing i've left out no let's go do it again let's do it again because it's quite important there is also the forum so we've done all the websites but there is also the forum next to discord which is just to, to chat away and, 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 and well ask some questions and all that this stays the forum if you ask a question here in the content solution then it will stay and everybody can read it you, you see here 51 posts frequent ask questions 
3,471 people have watched this. So it's um, interesting to see there is a fix and how should I solve this fix? It's all explained and often I'll just point you in the direction of a video or an article and voila, that's it, knowledge shared. So use the forum, we are paying for it, use it, ask your questions away, we'll watch them, we'll, if we can help, we will help. We do not have all the answers, but we'll try anyway. So all done, restart now, done. Or I can say, let's shut down because I want to get rid. So done, live user shut down. I would like to get rid of um, the ISO file in here, this one. So you see, when you boot up, what do you get? Not the USB anymore, but grub. So this is me launching 18.11.2, I think it was. Control alt t to it is. So this is a November release, okay? This means it's not November anymore. I definitely need to update. Now updating is a command, but it's a command, let's say yes first. It's a command that it's not known on Arch Linux. We are based on Arch Linux. Oh, my mistake. Oh, why did I do What did I do I need to do backup scalp Qui really quickly. Backup scalp. I'll explain later. Um, what I wanted to show you is Ctrl T and then alias. What I just typed is backup scalp. I just made a copy of the scale at this point in time, before the update. I was just, I think, before. It's, it's still downloading, so nothing changed on the ETC scale yet. Hence my, uh, well, being trying to be quick, quick, quick to put a scale. Well, let's take a look. So what I suggest is you go to the ETC scale, take it, put it here, because it's the, maze, the most important part of um, Arch Linux, Control H will show what's in there. So, show hidden files, Control H. With backup scale, what did I do? With backup scale, I made a copy from this thing, etc scale, and I've put it in a scale backup. Okay, scale backup. It's in here. The same things that are in here are in here. And it's dated. It has a year, month, day, etc. All right. This means after the update, I'm going to do another backup scale. So I'll see exactly what has been changed in one month's time. So that's pretty neat. And the scale thingy that I accidentally already typed was um, this thing. Copy everything from the ETC scale to our root. Well, no, to our home, which is our home directory, home Eric in my case. So let's wait for the update to finish here and then we'll come back. All right, so everything has um, been installed. Now, if you see somewhere in there a Linux kernel, then you should reboot or Linux dash LTS and long term support. You should reboot and see if the new kernel that came in is working. Now, if you scroll up, you'll see that there is information from Arch Linux installed. Lots of messages here and all of them point to the ETC scale. So while I was putting this simple recorder, screen recorder on pause, I saw these things flicker, uh, meaning um, stuff has been changed in here. So lots of elements in the ETC scale have changed. So if you want to get the latest updates on your system, you need to do a command and the command you do is scale. That's what you do. Now, the backup scale is also a great and interesting thing. So backup scale is going to make a new folder. So this folder is from before the update. If you type now backup scale, it's going to make 
and copy of etc scale again but this time it's after the update if this is before and this is after you know what i'll do i'll just compare both of them all right but first let's do a scale so i'm going to copy everything from what's in here to my home directory that's what's going to happen and it's super fast but done everything has changed anything that is um, that is here will override anything that's in here we're never go going to override your files or music or anything no it's we're talking about the latest bash rc we're talking about configurations etc okay so what did change if we select these two right mouse click and compare we get this long list no wrong folder here yeah that one this one okay so melt okay this is melt uh where do we see this melt 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 here we see melt preference and all that about what you need to know is you see everything now you don't need to see everything you need to see not to see the things that are the same so that narrows everything down and becomes a little bit less so what changed yes true we have um yeah phone year etc so the pictures of the new conky weather blue right yes i remember i recall we've given it a new api key and the uh, url was no longer working so we've changed it in a working url so this, this applies this bunch of uh, elements it's all api stuff and you see it in the blue lines you go navigate if everything is white okay everything is the same it's the blue wine the lines that concern us so yeah hi is here and i saw a typo yeah right avalos avalas yeah sure fixed it and here's the new phone conky also the lazuli conky so it was not there this is new new pictures new conkeys four new conkeys i changed something in the i3 config true true I made a new um, control alt p and it will start up the mac manager right and we scroll down i see some blue lines down here i've made some more spaces in between and some more uh, layout so it's indented but nothing changed just spaces and lines and indent indentation how do they say that indent yeah i don't well more space okay that's that rcxml true if we make a uh, shortcut in ctrl p so if we do that we do it in open box in xfc and i3 so this is open box and here is the weather pi polybar we've made another api for that as well so every tool every element has now its own proper api in the hopes that it will work longer but it will always stop at some point in time you need to ask your own of create your own api again here but this time we are in xfce for pamac manager ctrl p and a quick system info at some point in time uh, termite said no i'm not gonna support geometry anymore so we have to get rid of this this code here because otherwise it will not work this little application quick system info when we are going to this thingy so quick system info here it is so that application will not work if we don't change the code so now it works again almost there and the bash rc latest we have added this thing and that thing and that thing and that thing but we'll go into detail because that's a quite important thing bash so super tool backup scale before the update backup scale after the update you see what we've done in one month's time just in the etc scale <laughs> all the rest you won't see all right so fine we know what changed if you analyze these two files but they with a the scale everything is already there but there is still one thing to do well two things to do let's let's do maybe again a control alt t and do an um, pksyway so that's working already in the background 
when we do first an update and we do then a PKS YUA, it's going to get all the AOR stuff in. So this is not from us. It's not from Arch Linux and it's from Arch uh, of Arco Linux user repository. So it's uh, users who get it from all parts of the world in all kinds of distros, Debian's and RPMs, etc. And with a package build, they put it on our system. And that's the fun stuff is often in here. And uh, let's see if he installs everything. Now we scrolled up. If you want to scroll down, press spacebar. And then you see what's he doing. He's downloading static icons. Let's wait for him to install everything. That's going to be installed. 12 packages. While he's doing that, we're going to take a look at the bash RC and the bash RC latest. These things have gone through a big change. So let's compare these two. Create a file called bash RC personal and put all your personal aliases in there. They will not be overwritten by Scal. We do not provide you the file. We cannot provide you the file. Otherwise, it will be our file. It needs to be created by you. Create a file, bash RC personal, put all your personal aliases in there. Okay. Let's get that already from the latest version that comes from us to your version, bash RC. Okay. What else? Copy bash RC latest over on bash RC. I was so tired of doing this job we're doing right now that I've made an alias. CB copy bash is going to copy the latest bash RC over to bash RC and reload it to source bash RC means reload bash RC so I can use the aliases inside. So interesting CB copy bash CB okay then you saw maybe some videos of mine that I had problems with my mirrors and that's an, probably a very local thing. I live in Belgium. I ask, hey, what are the best servers around? And I got the worst servers ever. So I went into or dove into the man reflector. It's an application and a manual of reflector. And I came up with some variants. So mirror stays but it has a different code as you see something changed here https is gone rate is gone and we get different things here we have here the d for delay the s for score and the a for h sorting by and in one of those is uh, will bound will will work and and we um, we try just out what works at this point in time a mirror d or s and a and I'm happy with it now, so no no problems anymore. Just change the uh, alias, try another alias until it works. So in it goes. Then there was an, I think this comes from a suggestion, yeah, on Discord. So please give us suggestions. We can only become better if you give uh, share your knowledge and give your aliases to us. And one of those is a YouTube downloader. So if you want to keep videos that on and, and audio online and you say i want to have it i want to keep it because uh, when i'm not online i can't see it so i'm going to keep it for for uh, to keep it safe then these are now new aliases of course you need to install youtube dot uh, slash dl i mean so pacman uh, minus s and you have it and a rip is also a quite interesting thing but you need to install the words uh, this here x pack sudo pacman minus s x pack so extract packages from the database and rip stands for recent install packages which is of course quite funny since it's not rest in peace cleanup is a recent thingy and we've just analyzed everything on tutorials about it it comes also from uh, discord so join us there lots of information is shared shared and not everything is put on our clinic so a lot of things is, is just the users um, having fun on their Arch Linux system and sharing their configs. And this can go as well. Editor is nano. It's going to be uh, not needed anymore. So this one goes over there and that one goes over there. And that's it. So now we have files are identical. That's the message you need to have. 
So the thing we provide you, bash RC latest, and the one you use on your system, that's this file, bash RC will be used by your terminal, not that one to the right. And then you save everything. If you click here, the pop-up comes and that's how I save, Control S will work as well. So bash RC is now exactly the same, agreed. What we need to do to use all these things, three options, I guess, log out, log in, reboot, or a terminal. And let's source this thing, source.bashrc. You need to be in the home directory. Uh, the other day it was in a directory deep down there. Then you say, go to the root, right? You say this thing. I think it's called tilde or something. And then it will work as well. You'll know, go to the root, and there you'll find .bashrc. Everything, well, flickers, it seems, but because it's going to reload the bashrc, and at the end of the bashrc, it says neofetch. So we see neofetch. This is neofetch. So everything that we have now, well, we could see, yeah, just type alias, and you see, OK, here's this new thingy about this uh, YouTube download thing. Um, and, and scale was there already, but rip was new. And let's see, let's see if rip works. So rip xpac command not found. sudo pacman minus s xpac. Totally forgot to install it. Does rip work? Yep. What did we install last? xpac and before that, voila, and before that. So it's a good way to see what have I installed these last days, hours, weeks? And you go up until I think it's 100 uh, items. So that's one thing. How about this YouTube thingy? UTA, A was for audio, V is for TV, so video, best. And then you type a URL and it says, oh, but YouTube DL is not found. There is no command like that. Pseudo pacman minus S. YouTube DL and you install it and then you can try again of course not with this thing but something like HTTPS etc etc you copy paste the URL from YouTube or many other uh, providers because it's not that um, not called YouTube download but it gives more uh, flexibility than, than that so check it out in the articles articlenix.com alias. So these guys we've done. Um, pop, pop, pop. See if I don't miss anyone. So rip is done. That's the two most important. Here is this mirror thing. Let's get rid of this. How's our installation going? Uh -huh, we have a problem. We have to figure that out. And then uh, let's do this away. This bigger. So the mirror things. We have here possibility to do this mirrors nothing changed yes of course everything changed update and you check out mostly what I do mostly okay if you instead okay install <laughs> new update what I do is look at these numbers if they're big or not large numbers means faster servers as simple as that and mirror is verbose and verbose means I'll show you what I'm doing so he's contacting all these servers asking them hey how fast are you and then he's going to sort everything and if we could have a look here so time fast this is 509 556 I guess 609 is going to win which is Czechoslovakia Czechoslovakia, I think it's called in English. Anyway, he's going to win. That's the first one. And when I update, my files are coming from that server. And the speed is super. Oh, yeah. See? So that's the way you should um, investigate your mirrors. Get the fastest mirrors and you get an awesome uh, distro or, or operating system. Okay. So mirror, done that. KC is already explained in other videos, was already there, but just to tell you again, if you're on a conky 
well, if there's a con key like uh, i3 has a con key and awesome and bspwm and you quickly want to kill it, KC. So this CB is an interesting thing and the cleanup should I as well. Let's start with CB. So CB is what we did when we took, take a look at these two. CB is going to do the work for you, is going to take a copy of this one and put it in here. Just overwrite everything. So we can do that now because we have the possibility to add a personal list, a personal um, file to get our own aliases in. So if that's okay, if that's there, then there's no need to have uh, different, dif dif um, uh, how do you say, difference between one of them, because we have everything in the other one. So bash rc and bash rc latest, if you want to say after an installation, we will just copy the bash. Okay, cb, copy bash. cb command not found because we need to control t cb. Voila, done. That was an old terminal. This is the new terminal. cb is going to copy paste everything over and reload it. And you see this reloading in action. You see that's a new fetch coming again. So these two are exactly the same. They were the same, they are again the same, they're still the same. The other thing that um, was explained here, let's open it up. You need to do this yourself, create a bash RC personal. Lately, I'm doing it like this. Control C, Control V, and then go for personal, and then bash RC personal, Control A, delete my stuff, right? Alias equals uh, a page or something equals update a typo. Update equals update. Okay, fine. So if we have an uh, extra folder here, extra file I mean, in the home directory, nowhere else, dot bash rc slash personal, and we include our own aliases, can be anything, then it's going to be with this reloaded with this line number 19. But you need to source again, since it's new, you need to source bash rc again, or since we have now this little command, if we type cb, we're gonna copy paste this one over to that which is not going to change anything but it's going to source it as well so my update i think it was is going to update oh no. another update fine <laughs> great arch linux for you guys always updates <clears throat> so bash rc bash rc latest and bash rc personal that's going to be our look for from now on and getting everything in here one of the things we've seen as well is this cleanup thingy. So control T, there is this cleanup um, alias. And we've made an, uh, a video about it and explained, never just copy paste anything from the net, learn, use the manuals, learn, read and, and figure out what's going to do to my system. If you're on VirtualBox, no harm done, reinstall and everything. But if it's on SSD, well, think twice. So this command is going to remove anything that's orphaned, that's not needed anymore, that we can delete without breaking our system. That's of course a must, right? So cleanup has removed 136, uh, 63, that's 36, I said it correctly. Megabyte, that's done. Okay, I guess we still have our PKSYUA thingy there. That's an issue. Control T P K S Y U A. Eric is going to check. So we're installing some stuff, and here we're stuck at making a package. So I guess he has a problem. 
Uh, we can't do anything about it in the sense that he's looking for a requested URL and the URL is not found. So he says, hey, where is version blah, 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 and the version is not there. So the URL is wrong. The only thing we can do right now to continue our work is remove it because it's just about videos in uh, Vivaldi and that's the only thing that's going to happen that's, that the videos won't work in Vivaldi anymore but the rest will just install and just skip well since there is no error anymore everything else will be installed and that's the point so what happens with um, packages online that's um, I don't know doesn't matter what browser I use what you should do is make an account on the AOR Arch Linux. Make an account. So, so register and login, all that. And then you go to the AOR. And this was concerning Vivaldi. It was this one, I think. So what I'm going to do later, not on this virtual box, is flag the package out of date. Lucy Firm Star is not checking again and again and again every day is my package still working right so we need to inform him by flagging the package out of date what do you get i get a mail since i'm a maintainer of some of the packages you get a mail and say oh okay and then you know that the in this case the url we could have a look so the url is is wrong so we want to download a package version blah 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 and package version 2 but this, these guys on Ubuntu, on this server, have deleted this package. If they delete the package, hey, it won't work, sure. So we need to update this package build, and uh, Fahad Hossein will do that. If he knows there is a problem. So you need to flag the package out of date, make an account, help making AOR super. Because it's super, but it's, it needs to be maintained always. And that's because of uh, checksums of uh, links that go down and stuff like that. The only thing we need to do is, well, put some time in it and say, okay, let's report it so people can update. So as you can see, everything is now working. And what are we doing? Is this, um, yep, the Conquilua Archers is going to be installed. A new version is out. This particularly is long to build. But remember, what did we not do? That's a good thing that I think of it. Arch Linux uses not all the cores out of the box. So .bin is your folder to have uh, lots of things. And this uh, month we are going to introduce you with a new little fun thing called guns. You just run it, you'll see. There's also another file, another folder uh, to stay rolling. So people who will not do a clean install they have this folder going from 18.11 to 18.12 so we'll take a look at it as well this one deletes samba and this one says stay rolling but i wanted to go to this one we're not using all the cores we have a script to use all the cores right mouse click open terminal and say use all the cores it's going to calculate yeah you need to have a number eric Oh yeah, a good, a good uh, thing that has, this happened. So why are there two elements in here? Well, because Xeon CPU has 16 cores. So we have made for him a line in here that 16 CPUs will actually use 16 and will use 16. And this, this has a reason, but it's 16. And that's, um, that's why it is. So we have a new version. But what you do, this is, is get an old version. And this one is a new one. So we're never going to delete stuff in your home directory. Ever. We're not touching any of the files. We're just putting new stuff in there. And in this case, it's a new version. So this one can go. You need to delete it them, them yourself from your own directory. So that's why the system says, hey, what version? So I'm used to type 00, zero and then it then tap out to completion and run. Four cores, that's correct. I have eight cores, four for VirtualBox, four for my own, and done. 
So if you do this prior to all the building from AUR, you'll get a faster system. There are other things here available as well. So Samba has been removed from 18.12 and we have some scripts in here to reinstall them in about a minute's time or so. Samba is working again with these scripts. They come from Arch Linux D. Okay, PKSYUA. We're completely up to date. Basically, before I forget, <laughs> before I forget, go to the file system, go to etc, go to LSB release, type in, you are now on officially, well, not officially, but almost, if you follow the video a little bit longer. You're on 18.12.7, okay? So that's how easy it is to change the release number. It's super, that's all it is. 18.12.7, yay. But there is still a lot of things to do. Well, let's maybe start with the most, um, well, to get you actually to 18.12.7. That is, if you go back to the bin and stay rolling, you don't do a clean install and you really want to be exactly the same as 18.12, you need to run these two guys. Open terminal here. This one is delete the Samba related stuff. So on 18.12, uh, we said, no, let's not install Samba anymore. And let's leave it up to the user. If they want it, they install it. Okay, fine. So we're going to disable services and everything is going to be removed. As you see, yes, you say, these are the system services and these are the applications themselves. Oops, twice, yes worked anyway. So if you rerun it again, it'll say, hey, everything is going to be removed. Oh, what was this? Okay, that's better. What was he doing here? Okay, everything fine. So fail to disable unit. Yeah, sure, because it was already gone. Target not found. Okay, sure, because it's already gone. So just running it once is okay. Just want to show you that if you run it, on an 18.12.7 clean installation, this is what you get because it's not installed, right? So this is just for the people who are rolling. Okay, and then stay rolling is an, an interesting little thing and I've made tutorials about it and also on this ArcolinuxISO.com because it's important to get as much as files in a package and that's what this thing does. It deletes files, remove, 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 remove. And in the end, it says install a package. So what we did, and it's explained in more detail in other videos, so that's why I'm skipping it a little bit here. Stay rolling is actually going to delete stuff from your system. First, going to make sure you have the last version, but that's okay. You have the last version. And it's going to replace all the same files. So delete file one, two, three, and then install file one, two, three again with a package. This time, this means we can update it with a pseudo pacman or an update command. We have, um, uh, we can manage these files that we've just deleted. So we've become even more, I think it's probably the last percentage to be rolling 100%. So that's that, that's uh, an important thing. And I believe we can go now and have a look. So we're all super up to date now. And let's go to Arch Linux. It's a long video, I know. A lot of information is in here. Okay, so this is our release article. You check it out, a lot of things have been done. Um, we've uh, updated our Budgie, Cinnamon, Deeping and Gnome, Arch Linux B. You know that we've done a revised um, um, well package list, not only that, but Calamaris has been improved, video drives have been improved, touchscreen has been improved on the other six, uh, am I saying it correct? Seven, seven um, desktops. And these four were still on the to-do list. So they've now also a new revised and, and improved ISO. And the next step, if this is all okay, is to make a minimal version. So these guys 
are still the maximal version, like 2.1 or something uh, gigabyte. But we'll make another package list to have minimal versions of it. So these seven is are already created on ArcLinuxB.com. We're not stopping with Plasma. There's still lots of things to learn, and I believe it's it's amazing already how much articles we've made. And I knew when I started with it that it's, it would be very long indeed to cover all the things necessary for the Plasma. We're at article 39. Okay, so yeah, we'll probably need more, probably double to uh, cover things. Creativity in aliases, we've been uh, very creative. You've seen a few already. So concerning the YouTube downloader, that's here. Concerning the RIP, that's here. Bash or C personal, you've seen it in this video again. See here, CB, copy, bash, done that. Four alias, mirrors, we've seen that. Clean up the system, we've done that as well. So um, lots of things have changed. And if you have more aliases, please come and tell them on. Discord. Redesign of PAMAC AOR. There was this ugly update we got in and we said, oh no, not like this. So we've restyled our own PAMAC AOR with these beautiful colors here. Samba is out for now. Um, there's a, a script. We you saw the scripts for to install Samba again. And uh, this is the look when everything is working, but we've got errors after the update. And um, so now we've got rid of Samba. And if you want it, you just install it. Under one minute with our scripts, you have Samba again. TLP is out as well, where we're looking for watchdogs. There are some watchdogs. You can arch wiki watchdog the words and see what it is. Um, but the thing is, it's they pop up and we really don't know why and how these guys and, uh, pop up, but we'll figure it out eventually. And But anyway, TLP is out because it's just for the laptop guys. And so if you're on a laptop, all you need to do is, is type these three things. If you think it will improve your battery time and all that, it's for actually just for the laptops. Um, Okay, good. Just saw that I need another picture here. That's not TLP, that's Sama. We've um, included the Fido icons on the 12.5. That's true. I don't think you have those installed here. Control T, pseudo Pacman, will it work? Minus S, Sapphire. No, it's not there. It's on the AUR. So, Sapphire, it's gonna work. Um, pop, 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 pop. Good question. What's the other one? What's this one? I think it's number one we need. Let's see. So if you want to be rolling, you need to install this as well. And if you don't like, of course, the icons, you don't need to. Let's move to Sapphire. All the way down. Yep, it's the good one. So, Sapphire is this look. All right, so working with Sapphire. The advantage is that we've been working together. Uh, Sapphire developer and us, I, working is, is a big word. I've asked gently, politely, if you could add a servant to the package. User share icons. Where are you? There you are. Icons, Sapphire, and what happens? Well, Surfing is now first. So the inheritance line, I've been trying to explain you guys that inheritance line is super powerful. So if an icon is not existing in Sapphire, it's gonna look on Surfing, it's gonna look in Umix, it's gonna look there, there, and at the very end, it's going to look at high color and you know, which are not that nice. So, that's why it's in here, in here as well, on, in, the, in the ISO, because of the fact that the surfing is there. Let's take another wallpaper. Old T was trash. So, Sapphire icons. 
edge block improved we can whitelist things meaning we can block domains block domains that are pretty stupid that are um well will will monitor everything you do tracking malware domains and so etc but in uh, working together with um, the developer of hblock uh, we have now a whitelist and also a blacklist so we can say block that domain but not this domain not that one not that one so we have a blacklist and another um, whitelist so both of them you can use and you can read more here so that's going to be useful maybe quickly uh, well show you anyway hblock minus b so you see uh, the minus b makes a backup so whatever you have um, there in hosts it's a file etc slash hosts that file is going to be backupped now i need first to install it so let's uh, install it first h block and that's it git okay it's installed etc host file will be changed to block 100,000 advertising tracking and malware domains run hb block minus b to change etc hosts and backup this is hblock.d here you have a blacklist and a whitelist if you want to whitelist something like the one i wanted to whitelist was analytics.google.com i think it's called so it does not need the HTTPS or anything it's just a domain you need there it's whitelisted so in my case i'll be able to surf to that site if you have an account there and you want to serve there then it will not work if you type hblock minus b it will be blacklisted so hblock minus b is going to do something to your file system etc hosts let's take this one now so this file here all right something's gonna happen we need when you type minus b it's going to get a lot of information from lots of sources and in the end has a long list 100,000 plus let's see how much 103,000 blocked domains that will not bother you again with advertising and tracking etc there is a backup file so if you want to open it with another application let's do sublime text or something this was the original one and what do we have now The blind text, a long list. This is my slider. 100,000, yeah, sure. So it's going to be a long list. All domains that uh, want to track you or malware domains or anything like that, things you don't want. The whitelist is there. This one is whitelisted. It will not be checked. Oh, we could check out um, in here. So this thing should be whitelisted control c hosts control v control uh, f control v and it's not in here unable to find analytics.google.com meaning it's not blacklisted it's not in here it will be reachable so that's good the, the whitelist works basically so that is hblock you install it yourself if you want it so it's not standard installed not on 18.12 either the lazuli conkey is a new one and lots of knowledge is in two articles three videos so um, this is the look we have well this is also already a personalized uh, look meaning it is think normally gray or something and since the wallpaper was that beautiful i said okay let's try to make this red okay no let's try to make this blue and then we change a lot of things and shared knowledge about it so that's the lazuli conkey the fun script is the guns the study rolling we've done that um more information here as well and there is this 120 under 14 under 50 the samba and network discovery scripts that are new general package updates and there's one removed that's true redshift is removed remember the guip thingy is not working so well packages that do not work that leaves us with frustration they go out simple as that 
future efforts to do Article Linux B, minimal ISO. So these guys need to be created in a future time. We will continue with the Plasma tutorials. They're still not finished. This means the ping and Q tile probably move to uh, another year, certainly. And how to stay rolling is included. So a video how to stay rolling with this, I think. Well, how to stay rolling in Arch Linux. But I'll certainly add my video to it as well, the, make, the one we're making now. It's working now. We'll see how long it will work. And this is general information, how to stay rolling, because it's important for us you know how to do that and not always clean install and here's the full package list you can check them out and as last thing if you want to have even more detail there's always more detail on the beta version so our beta testers and if you want to join the, the crew of the beta testers you better hurry to discord but all the information they require is in here and it's based on these articles and these and this link here that I make my article. So this article here that we've written here is actually based more or less on what we did didn't oh, what we did every time. So every time we released an ISO with changes, uh, we go over them and we say, okay, I've changed this, I've changed that. Could you test this? Could you test that? That's all done on Discord on the channel for the beta testers. So the error that came in, maybe you can take a look at it. So at some point in time, we see this message here and we have option one, two, three. So there's lots of information, um, not only here, but of course, articlinux.com and the category Samba. And here maybe let's end with that, with the image we got. So this is our PAMAC hour, which looks awesome. And then suddenly after an update, we got this. We did not change a thing. And we got these packages and said, so what the... So we designed it again and we have now again this kind of look. We took just the color of Arch Linux, by the way. The blue is Arch Linux color. And that's it for me. So it's a long video. I have lots of knowledge again in it. Um, I hope you like it. And um, well, have fun. Have fun using Arch Linux. Come and join us on Discord and make it even better by giving us more suggestions. All right, cheers.